Hi, I'm Rick Martinez. I'm an OXO chef in residence, and today I'm gonna make an incredibly over-the-top holiday meal. It's going to elevate your inner chef. It's going to impress all your friends. It's gonna put you in a great festive mood. So what I'm gonna be making today is my take on a crepe Suzette, this crazy over-the-top holiday dish. When I entertain for the holidays, I like to make a splash. I like a little drama in the kitchen. I mean, look what I'm wearing. I like people to notice things. And so this is one of those dishes that when you bring it out to the table, you're gonna set it on fire, your guests they're gonna be amazed. They're all gonna like pull out their phones. It's gonna be all over Instagram. You're gonna break the internet with it. That's why we're gonna make it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make the batter. The great thing about this is it's a blender dough. So all you have to do is literally throw everything in the blender, blend it up, and you're done. We're gonna start with the milk. And this is just regular whole milk. This is definitely the time that you wanna use full fat everything. We don't wanna skimp out. Uh, this is the holidays, of course. And I've got some sugar, I've got some salt, I've got some melted butter, and I've got some all-purpose flour. We have our eggs, two teaspoons of my beloved vanilla paste, which you can see it's a little bit thicker, and you can see those beautiful vanilla seeds in there. Okay, that looks good and blended. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So I'm gonna cover this with plastic and let it sit for about two hours and then I'll start making the crepes. The thing that we're gonna make right now is the vanilla ricotta. This is super easy. All I'm gonna do is take two cups of ricotta, three tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, or in this case, I'm gonna be using vanilla paste. And that's literally all you do, and just give it a, a little plastic cover, and this can sit in the refrigerator for up to two or three days. This is the part of the crepe recipe that actually makes the Suzette a Suzette. This is the classic, traditional way to do this. When you soften butter, you can actually fold in herbs or spices or aromatics and even liquid into the butter, and then just hold it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. So the thing that I'm gonna do is just finish zesting an orange. This is five teaspoons of orange zest. All right, and then I need a little bit more of the juice. Perfect, that is enough. All right, now we're ready to blend it. So this is 12 tablespoons of soft butter. And I've got some sugar. And I've got my orange zest. And one thing that's always really important when you're making desserts is you always wanna add salt. And so I'm gonna put in a half of a teaspoon of salt, and that's just gonna open up your palate to all of that orange, incredible flavor. And so we've got like the essence of the orange from the zest, and we've got a little bit of the acid and a little bit of the sugar from the juice. And I'm gonna just start on low and pulse it. All I wanna do is mix it in there and get it really well incorporated. And, yep, yeah, it looks good. And now, with the motor running, I'm just gonna drizzle it in. Okay, the batter has rested, so it's time to start making the crepas. What I'm gonna do is just pour it in, and gently swirl until the whole pan is coated in the batter. And the edges will start to brown when it's ready to flip. The second side, you can actually flip, and it's super easy and it'll move around. The first side is your show side, and I will show you. So that is the pretty side. This is the not pretty side. What I wanna do is I'm laying everything in the pan with the unpretty side up. And that's the side that I'm gonna dip and I will fold so that you see the pretty side when we present. One of my favorite holiday memories was, I was probably like, I think it was three. I'm laying in bed and of course, you know, three-year-old, I can't fall asleep because I'm thinking Santa's coming, Santa's coming. And I hear something on the roof. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, it's him, he's here. And I hear, and I hear, and Santa's like jumped off the sleigh, he's like going down the chimney, he's leaving me all these presents. 
My dad had actually gone outside, gotten a ladder, put it on the roof, and was like stomping around right above my room so that he, I would actually think that Santa was there. And I mean, it was one of the coolest experiences because I just remember like thinking, wow, it's real, it's really happening. This is the point where your guests are about to arrive. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make the syrup. So you make the syrup, you dip everything in, and then when everybody's around, you lower the lights and set it on fire. But first things first. So this is the compound butter with the orange juice. So it's totally fine if it's separated. Uh, there's a lot of liquid in there. What's gonna end up happening, and the reason why we did this, is because the orange juice helps to melt some of that sugar. And so it's just gonna speed up the process. So what's gonna happen now is the orange juice is gonna evaporate. We're gonna concentrate all that flavor. So in that orange juice, we have acid, we have sugar. All those flavors are gonna combine and concentrate, and then they're gonna start to caramelize. Meanwhile, the butter, which also has the zest and sugar and a little bit of salt, is gonna melt, then that sugar is gonna start to caramelize. When it gets to the consistency of honey, that's our cue to turn the fire off and start dipping the crepes. What you need to do is start by dipping the ugly side halfway in the hot syrup, pull it out, and then just drop it again halfway so you're dipping the other side and fold it over on itself. And then you wanna fold it over again. So then what you have is a nice little triangle. Then you wanna move this carefully to the outside of the pan and continue with the next one. So we're gonna do 12 crepes. And so we're gonna arrange them so that they make this nice little circular pattern around the pan. And then afterwards, we'll pour the liquor in the very center, turn the flame on, it'll get really hot, start to bubble, and we'll set it on fire. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off. And then very quickly, I'm gonna start dipping. Folding, actually it's super duper hot. Oh. Last step, I almost forgot, was a little bit more sugar. This is gonna help give it a little bit more flavor. It's also gonna help the flames get a little bit higher. So this is two tablespoons of sugar. So now what I've got here, I've got some orange liqueur and I've got some cognac. The orange liqueur is gonna pick up obviously all those orange flavors. I'm gonna combine them because I'm gonna do one swoop. I'm gonna pour it in, I'm gonna stand back. It's gonna bubble rapidly and then I'm gonna tilt the pan over and ignite the flame. All right, ready? And as soon as the flame goes out, you can cut the heat because there's a lot of residual heat in the pan. All I wanna do is burn off the alcohol and then whatever's left is your sauce. It smells so good. It's caramel and orange and butter. Oh, it's all my favorite flavors. It is really super hot. So while that is cooling down a little bit, I'm gonna clean up and get ready to plate. Okay, so plating might be slightly tricky, but you can just pull them out one at a time. This is classic crepe Suzette, but my version, we have this beautiful vanilla ricotta. And this is my holiday crepe Suzette with vanilla ricotta. There's so many things happening. You get the orange, you get the cream, you get the vanilla. The texture of the crepe, it's holding its shape, but it's just soaked full of caramel and orange and butter. It's so decadent and so rich. Your friends are going to freak out when they see you with this flaming skillet of amazingly delicious crepe Suzette. I wanna see it on in your Insta. I want you to tag me in it. I want you to tag OXO in it. I want you to use their amazing tools to elevate your inner chef.